Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. I'm super excited, so I've actually just won a Honda lawnmower on eBay for just £20, a Honda Izzy. If you're a follower of this channel, you'll know that these are fantastic lawnmowers. This was just on eBay, 99p, someone had just listed it as I look on eBay every single day for lawnmowers. I sent a simple question just saying, do you fancy taking £20 for this? He got straight back to me and said he's amended this listing, put a buy it now price on, of just £20. This is the lawnmower that I'm just gonna go and pick up in a minute. We'll take a quick look at it when I get back, hopefully. First things first, I haven't done a video in about two or three weeks. I've actually uh, hurt my shoulder, I've had real big problems with it, but it's getting better now. But I've actually updated the website, there's actually 16 new articles on the website. Now the website is actually called repairlawnmostforprofit.com, not repairing. So go to repairlawnmostforprofit.com, you'll be doing me a massive favour. Take a look at one of the 16 articles on there, and that will help immensely for my website, just get it up and running. There's loads of valuable information on there as well, and I'm also building out a resources page full of genuine parts you can buy for your mowers but for now I'm gonna go pick this Honda Izzy up we'll bring it back and we'll take a look at it this looks fantastic right so here we have it I'm back I've been out about half an hour it's been cold tonight, We've just, it's the 1st of November today and I picked this up and it's really cold in my garage so I'm going to have a look at this tomorrow because it's, uh, it's dark outside now as you can see um, This Honda Izzy, complete with grass box um, Got it from a nice lady in the middle of nowhere Luckily I had my sat nav with this, this is a self drive Honda Izzy and as I was picking it up she just said to me um, well, I asked her, I said, why, why are you getting rid of it? She said, oh, we've not used it for years. It used to be really good, but it's just been sort of in storage. And I asked her why she didn't use it anymore. She said the self-drive didn't work. And I hate to hear that. I absolutely hate to hear that. But just outside now, just I've just taken a torch out when we tip this over. Um, I'll just pull this spark plug lead. I fear I always do that, by the way. I always remove this spark plug lead. And I tipped it up and I put my hand under where the actual belt goes just to feel if there was a belt on there. And there was. But it doesn't feel like it's actually uh, on the blade adapter right. So that's great because it might have just come off. Because it's absolutely thick with grass underneath. So I'm hoping that this self-drive may still work. If I clear all this dirt and grass out from underneath. And slide this belt back on. Which is funny because that's exactly what I did with this Qualcast. With this 450E engine. But these are brilliant lawnmowers. They really are. It's a little bit tatty. It's got a few bits of paint coming off it. But these are... Uh, Height adjusters are great, the absolute Honda engine is absolutely brilliant, 4.5 horsepower. When it's serviced up and the valves are set, this runs great, and if the self drives working, I reckon I can clean this up. I reckon I can sell this for at least £125 in the uh, springtime, summertime next year, and I really do like this model. I'm really glad to get one of these again, because I've been uh, looking to do quite a few more videos on Honda lawnmowers, and the Easy one is a really popular one as well. So if the self-drive doesn't work, I might just actually rip this to pieces. We'll just find out exactly why. So I might keep this one for a bit and just do some different repairs on it. Even might do some things that don't need doing, just to show a few people here on YouTube how to do it. So I'm going to leave it for tonight. I've got some more work on the website to do on repairlawnmowersforprofit.com. As I said, I've got 15, 16 articles on there at the moment. So I'm going to go and do that tonight, and we'll take a look at this tomorrow when it's a bit warmer. Right, here we go. Next morning. Oh, it's freezing. I've been sat in there, I was just um, working, doing some stuff on my computer. And I'm staring out the kitchen window, I, I couldn't wait any longer, I had to come and get this Honda out. And I had a quick look in the petrol tank last night, there's nothing in it, but I'm sat staring at my garage in the kitchen, on the computer. And all I can think about is whether this Honda will fire up. Right, let's get this out and put some petrol in this. And let's try it. It's actually frost on the grass this morning. I said it's uh, beginning of November now, so it's not ideal grass cutting weather, but it'll still be worth seeing if we can get this running. Let's just drop a bit of petrol in here. There's actually a fuel tap on this. Currently it's turned off, so we'll just drop enough in. Make sure there's nothing underneath it. I've checked the blade, the blade seems to be on okay. I'm going to turn this fuel tap on here. There's actually a fuel tap on the side of these. That wants to be in line. So I should have some fuel through there. The throttle on. Let's put this throttle on to choke at the top. And wish me the very best of luck.
nothing. Not even a, a try of anything. Nothing. Not one noise. When I get that, I like to check the micro switch. This model, this Izzy model, has a micro switch under here and it actually operates. If you push at the top here, it's safe to it. You can see it actually moves backwards and forwards. If you've got a Honda lawnmower that doesn't start, make sure that this micro switch has been activated properly. Sometimes the click in this style doesn't. And I'm pretty sure that that's working okay, but the only way to you know, definitely test that is to make sure I've got a spark, but I'm happy that it's, it's actually pushing the micro switch to where it should go. I've put my hand on this uh, operating lever and moved it a bit further in, and it doesn't move much further than that, and it all feels nice and smooth. But when I get absolutely no sign of life at all, that's always a little bit worrying. So I'm, uh, I'm happy that micro switch is working right, and the fuel's on. I just wonder if I tried to start it. And the fuel up settled in this carburetor properly, maybe it hadn't got through. Or who knows, even the carburetor could be all gunked up. Um, let's just give it one, a couple more goes. Usually these start really easily if they're going to work. Right, so that started. Leave it warm up this time, just leave it on for a little bit longer. We're going to see if this choke actually, uh, this, uh, we're going to see if this throttle works after that. I can't believe that started then. Maybe the fuel just hadn't got through to the carburetor. good start I'm, I'm really glad that started actually now this starts and runs properly at full speed but these lawnmowers should ideally tick over at slower speed as well and as soon as I decrease the revs there it starts to rev up and down a little bit and um, this hasn't been run for for years this lawnmower had no fuel in it luckily for me they must have drained this out and that starts and runs great at full speed anyway but that's a, a sign that the carburetor could want cleaning out but I have to um, what I, will, what I will do there is I'll, I'll probably leave this running for a good five minutes, get some good fuel through it and see what it runs like then. But we've got a working lawnmower and I've got a good idea why this drive doesn't work because the belt, when I felt underneath, as I said, has come off. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually just look at this drive belt underneath and I might have a fully working Honda Easy lawnmower and the self-drive fixed. But before I do that, let's just look at a few reasons why a Honda lawnmower may not start. Most Honda lawnmowers I've picked up from auction that don't start have the same sort of problems. The number one problem I get with them, as I've shown you, is this micro switch. Now, if it doesn't have a switch on like that that you can see, just take the recoil cover off. It's just these three parts here. And they'll actually have a micro switch with like a little metal lever on, and that should definitely click. I've had loads of really expensive Honda lawnmowers that won't start just because it won't get a spark because this micro switch doesn't work. So if you can't find it, if you've not got a Honda, is it? You've got just another, any style of Honda lawnmower. They all have a micro switch on. They don't have a kill switch on the Hondas. Take a look at the micro switch. Another thing I've seen as well when I've gone to pick these up, people who can't get their, uh, the lawnmower started, is this fuel tap. A lot of people don't realise that this is a fuel tap. They can actually switch this off and then on again. And they've actually turned it off or someone's turned it off and they can't get it going. Another reason I see is that the air filter is absolutely filthy. Or people have tipped the lawnmower up and this is covered in oil. That one's dirty a little bit, but that's nothing compared to what I've seen before. And this is something I say on nearly all my videos, and I bet a lot of people skip what I'm going to say here. Do not ever use a cheap spark plug. I can't, I can't stress this point enough, and I've said it on nearly every video. I've bought spark plugs in the past from B&Q in the UK here, and just do not work. Get an NGK spark plug, get the correct plug for the machine, and try it. Don't think it won't be the spark plug. Even if you get spark sometimes, which sounds ridiculous, I've had it where it won't fire up. 
The next thing I always want to check if I can't get a lawnmower to start are the valves. If the valves are too far out of adjustment, you'll have bad timing, bad compression, and it'll probably run alright once you get it started, but getting it started can be a real pain. And these lawnmowers, honestly, they start up better than any other. There's loads of times when I've actually gone to fire one of these up, been kind of halfway through pulling it over and it's started. So this is a cracking lawnmower, most of the Honda lawnmowers are. So let's take a quick look underneath and just see if we can get this uh, this belt put back on here. I might just clean it off a little bit with a hose pipe first. Just a bit tatty, it's a shame really. So I might just have to paint this one up, I might have to do something with it anyway. But it's not too bad, the deck's nice and solid. It's just cosmetically it looks a bit of a mess. You might have noticed as well I actually dropped the height adjusters down just to the lowest setting before I started that up. Even though I had checked that the blade was on correctly. Probably a bit cold to be doing this today, but let's get it done anyway. Before we do any work on a lawnmower, I just like to clean all of the worst bits of it off, just so I can see what's what. There's loads of grass on this. I've never actually cleaned this off underneath, which is the reason I think the drive belt come off. I'm hoping it's all just full of grass. Let's just drag this drive belt off. Look at this now. The sun's coming out now. Look at that. One tip as well, and I've really paid the price for this recently, when you wash a lawnmower off, obviously be careful with the air filter. But one thing is, when you've washed the lawnmower off, make sure you start it up again afterwards and make sure it fires up. I've really learnt that a lot more recently. I've just noticed on these these two engines here, this 500E Massport engine, well, Briggs and Stratton engine on a Massport deck, the 500E and the 450E, the back of the carburetor, as I showed you in a previous video, has an air inlet valve. It's a little white plastic piece. and I have recently washed these mowers off when I've gone to kind of finish them up and just clean them up a bit better and if it gets any water on it at all it will not start and I've had to actually drain the whole fuel out of the carb and restart and it's fine now if you've got this newer style Briggs and Stratton engine and it won't start and you've washed it or it's got wet that could be the reason so I would suggest if anyone's got one of these and they're leaving the lawnmower outside I suggest not to because you're going to have problems with it the one thing I really like about this style of engine apart from it being easy to work on is when you tip it up to look underneath it, it doesn't smoke when you put it back down, but the one thing I've, I've found that I don't like about it, was two things actually, the spark plug's difficult to get out if you don't have the correct tool, and the second thing I really don't like, is when you get it wet, it's really difficult to start again, in fact this green one would not start again until I've drained the, the whole fuel out of the carburetor. But I've washed this one off, and I've just started it up again, it took me a few goes actually, but it did start up. I actually had a, a comment on YouTube about why do I tip petrol lawnmowers on the side, why don't I tip it straight back? Well, I, I don't really understand that. If I tip that straight back, how am I, I, I going to hold that up to work underneath it? I mean, I could, you know, weight this down, but I can't really get access to it. But, I mean, everyone's got a different way of doing things. In the comments section of this video, just tell me how you like to work up underneath your lawnmowers. Do you like to just take everything off and just look underneath it, or do you tip it sideways, do you tip it backwards? You know, generally I tend to tip the carburetor in the air with the exhaust pointing to the ground. That way I get less fuel spillage, but that's the way I do it. That's the way I can get underneath the lawnmower. But everybody does it differently. And if you tip it backwards or anything like that, leave me a comment in the comments section. And we'll see what the best way to do this actually is. What I like to do is I like to tip it with the carburetor facing upwards. If you're not sure where the carburetor is on a lawnmower, hopefully you'll understand what an exhaust is. Make sure the exhaust is pointing towards the floor. I just like to tip it over like that. That way I can kind of lean it against something. I can get underneath it. If I lean that like that, I can kind of get it to a point where it'll balance. And I can get good access to most of the underneath of it. But I mean, look, let's look at the state of that. Is there any wonder that belt's come off there? Um, I say I put my finger under there and I felt where the belt goes. And it's not on the blade adapter properly. So I'm going to take this blade off. I'm going to clean underneath here first and take all this rubbish off. I'm going to take the blade off and we'll have a look at actually where this... Uh, oh, I'm filming right up there. Oh, sorry, it's hard to see. Um, I'm going to film right up there, where you, you can see the uh, the belt, and we'll have a look and just see what's going on. I really do hope that this belt's just slipped, slipped off this blade adapter, but look at the state, this is why lawnmower cutting decks rot. I've just written an article on my website actually, I think it was called um, 8 best lawnmowers that could last, last a lifetime with the correct servicing or something, something along like that anyway, but I was trying to find a lawnmower for a reasonable price, if you did the service on you could probably keep for a whole lifetime, and I mentioned this is the one reason, the main reason why a lawnmower will never last a lifetime, it's just because it rots, if you leave a lawnmower like that it, you'd be lucky if it lasted a few years, this is 2005 and there's no holes in the deck yet, so that's a testament to the actual cutting deck of these Honda Easy lawnmowers. So I'm going to clean that off, I'm going to take the blade off and we're going to see if we can get this self-drive working. 
I just want to show you something. I've just um, actually uh, just got chairs, got some uh, cycling trousers on. Put something on the floor so I can get down here. You see where the belt goes in here? Look at this drive belt there. It should actually sit on here, on this blade adapter. And you can see here it's gone right round. Make sure you take the spark plug out when you do this. Always take the, uh, the ignition lead off. Ideally remove the spark plug completely. But you can see that's not sat on there. And I think that's just come off because the grass has just got collected in there and dragged it off. This is what happens with poor servicing of your lawnmower. It's just not worth it. They've sold me this lawnmower for £20 because the self-drive doesn't work. Simply because I've never cleaned off the underside of it. I've probably never had it serviced either. I'm just wondering if I can get that belt back on without actually taking the blade off and the blade adapter. I might just have a little fiddle about with that and just see if I can get this back on. But I think, as it's not snapped, you can see here I've just cleaned under here. Look how much dirt I've got off there. I think this is going to run. I've got as much grass as I can out just with the hose pipe. I've not got the uh, pressure washer on it today. But the belt's still there. You can see the belt still going to the transmission box and everything looks alright. So I'm going to try and turn this blade manually. Now I've got this spark plug lead off. And just push this belt back on and then try it. Right, with the use of a screwdriver I've just pushed this under it. Just wound this blade round manually by hand. I've actually got this belt back on. And everything seems to turn as well as it should and move. So before I do anything else, I'm going to refit this spark plug ignition lead. I'm going to try this and I'm going to bet that this actual self-drive is still in good working order. I really really hope so because this will sell for significantly more if the self-drive works. Right, wish me luck, it's been tipped up as well of course. Let's just refit this spark plug lead here. Actually, before I start this up, let's just do a little shout out. There's a channel on YouTube called Ollie Man. He's only a young lad and he's having a go at repairing these lawnmowers for profit with his dad. So in the top right hand corner of your screen now you'll see a link to Ollie Man's channel. When you've seen this video, do yourself a favour and do him a favour. Just go over to his channel and subscribe to him because he's only just getting started. And he's, uh, he's really keen. He's doing a great job of making the videos as well. And I always like to you know, do my bit as well to help other channels out. So check out Ollie Man's channel. I turn this fuel back on. Hopefully this will start and hopefully the drive will work. Well that's for a result, a £20 Honda Easy lawnmower that didn't work and the self-drive was broken in under 20 minutes is running, not perfectly but it's running and the self-drive's working. This is an absolute bargain, I'm so pleased with this and sometimes it just pays to look at the simple things. If you've got a Honda Easy where the self-drive's not working, remove this spark plug and take a look underneath and just make sure that any long grass hasn't actually just dragged the belt off. Luckily on this occasion this belt guard saved this small mower from actually chopping this into pieces. But I'm, uh, I'm really happy with that. This is going to be a great profit for me. So what I'm going to do over the winter is I'm actually going to keep this lawnmower and I'm going to do various repairs on it. Obviously this time of year, November getting towards Christmas as well, there's not going to be a lot of demand for actually selling these lawnmowers. Although you can still sell them for, for profit, believe it or not. I could sell that for more than £20. Pounds. Of course I could. I'd probably get £80 pounds for that today as it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this. I'm going to do various repairs on this over the winter. Because these are really popular. If I look back at the actual views on my, my videos on YouTube, a lot of these Honda videos seem to have a lot of uh, interest. So I'm going to keep it. We'll do some different repairs. I might even take the engine off it completely and paint this deck up. Or have it painted up by somebody who can do it. I know Martin Butler over at Retro Restore actually has a really good video. In fact, I'll link to that in the top right-hand corner of how to tidy up a scruffy lawnmower deck. So look in the top right-hand corner now. And I'll link to Martin's video as well. If you haven't seen his channel, check out Retro Restore. He's got a fantastic new channel as well called Retro Hacks, which is growing really well. He's got some fantastic videos on there. So I'm going to keep this lawnmower. And I actually filmed a, a repair manual video on this, a whole 
a whole service video if you've not got that DVD it's the Honda petrol lawnmower service manual DVD you'll find that on eBay at the minute or you can look at the recommended products page on the website as well which is repairlawnmowersforprofit.com so thanks for watching I'm going to put this away it's just a short video but if you can't get your self-drive working and you can't get your Honda lawnmower started and this has helped you out at all please give me a like and uh, leave me a comment in the comment section thanks to all my subscribers nearly 7,000 of you now and I do appreciate every single one of you watching the videos and taking the time to comment check on Ollie Man's channel as well do him a favour let's give that lad a, a little bit of a, a helping hand as well thanks for watching I'll see you again next time and please do me a massive favour check out the website repairlawnmowersforprofit.com